Yellow. There are countless amount of celebrities, of singers in the world, and it is so hard to keep up with this damn generation because there is a new singer week after week after week. But all in all, I have met enough singers to know which ones are nice and which ones aren't so nice. In this video, I have a jar full of singers' names, and one by one, I'm going to pick two at a time and specify which one was nicer and which one was not so nice. So I'm gonna give the jar a little bit of a jiggy wiggy, and I'm gonna jiggle it a little bit just so every Everything is mixed up. So the first set of two singers that I am going to pull out out of the jar. Oh, darn nun. That's right. I said it. I cursed the nun. Darn nun. Post Malone. I met Polo. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're right. I met B Poloni. Can I have some Poloni in my sandwich? I met Post Malone at the Much Music Video Awards while he was in Toronto and he was performing, I think at the time, congratulations. He came out of the car, this was at the airport by the way, this is him departing Toronto. He came out of the car fully like swagged out, like he looked incredible. For somebody who was on a flight at like seven in the morning, I was like, darn none because this man looks beyond amazing. He was so down to earth. Seven in the morning and this man was taking picture after picture after picture after picture. <gasps> and the best thing about it is I haven't seen him since, but I know friends who have been meeting him since, and he has been the exact same thing. Since congratulations, his level of success has gone all the way sky high, and the man still takes pictures and takes time to interact with the fans. Sean Mendez. It's crazy to think that a, oh darn, again, once again, darn, and I keep dropping every name out of here. Once again, a jar full of 400 people and I pull out my face, Sean Peter Raul Mendez. Trust me, that was not intentional. I've met Sean plenty of times. Literally, I couldn't even count with my fingers how many times I've met him. Every time that I've met Sean, he has been the absolute same. He has been so friendly, he has been so interactive, and he gives the fans everything that they want. But in terms of my interactions with my absolute legend, it has been so personal because I've met him so many times and because I'm also from Toronto where he now lives. It's kind of become like a bond. I am gonna give this to my absolute legend, Mr. Sean Peter Rowell Mendez, the second round of celebrity or singers, I guess, who are nicer and either or not so nice. Oh. Dua Lipa. I met Dua Lipa at the airport. She arrived and she took pictures with every single fan that was there. Even though there wasn't many, she still managed to give everybody an equal amount of time to interact. She arrived in Toronto very late. She arrived the same day as, a sh as her show. So she had to get to the show, do her whole meet and greet, and then go on stage. So she wasn't very, she was interactive, but not for so long. But as soon as she got in her car, she tweeted. She was like, to all the beautiful fans at the airport, sorry if our pictures didn't come out well or so like I wish our pictures came out better she literally tweeted to the what 10 people who were there for her Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran is nice he doesn't talk much I know that he's much more social when he's it's bad to say but like I know that in turn this is like between like me and other fans, he's been more chatty when he's done drinking. Like after like a bar or something and you meet him, he'll like literally sit down and actually like socialize with you. Whereas like if he's just rehearsing or he's performing, he's not that much like into talking. He just kind of like, it looks, it like actually seems like he just wants to get the process done with. Because when I met him, he was just kind of like, okay, yeah, like give me your phone, like let's quickly take pictures. And he didn't want like, he wanted his privacy, which makes sense. So that's why he didn't really take full bodies. So I'm gonna have to give this to Miss Dua Lipa. And the third round of singers who are nice or maybe not so nice. It's actually like, I actually don't want people to think that I'm picking out people random. I'm actually like going through a jar of like how many people. And there's a lot of people that I haven't met in here. So I always have to like get rid of those when I pull them out. Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata, Lady Gaga. Before I say anything, when is Chromatica coming out? Lady Gaga has been honestly the nicest person ever. And I'm not just saying that because she's one of my faves. I'm genuinely saying that because she is honestly like fan favorite, I swear. I met her at the premiere. She literally walked over to me in a crowd of thousands of people. We want Chromatica, so where is it? Okay, bye. Demi Lovato. There is no comparing Demi Lovato to Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata in terms of fan interaction because Gaga takes it all. I'm not even going to continue my story on with Demi. She was okay. Like she, uh, like I asked her to take a picture. Nobody really was asking her at the time too. And she was like, yeah, well, we walk. And I was like, legit, nobody else is asking for a picture. So I don't understand why you just can't say like, or stop it. I don't know. Anyways, that was who's nice. And that was who was not so nice. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. TQILs.